Taurus, this is Soul. And Taurus, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning January 28th and ending February 10th, 2019. Okay, the messages are for Taurus single. Now, I don't have to do that. This is not the general love reading. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. I guess it could be for singles too. Singles, couples, whatever. The messages that come through. All right, so this is, an, uh, of course, you know, new month, new energy. I'm using a uh, new new deck here. Uh, it is called the Eight Coins uh, Tattoo Tarot. I've had quite a while, but just was a little bit hesitant about using it because I felt that the images were, they're great. You know, they were very artistically done, but I i don't know. And during the reading, I just felt that they would come across as too cartoonish. But eh, so far, they're coming out. They're working out pretty well. So... And, you know, I always like to see the elements show up for the sign that I'm reading for. So already I'm making the connection here because the overall energy that opens up for you, uh, Taurus, is the Hierophant. This is you. Taurus, the Hierophant represents Taurus and the other Earth energies uh, in the upright position, um, Capricorn and Virgo. So this is a two week period of time of, you know, possibly teaching and learning. It's the relationship card. So it could be all things involving uh, you know, relationships, whatever those relationships are for you, romantic, it could be friendship, it could be family, it could be, um, you know, with your co-workers, this is higher education, this is a card in the upright about making sure that you um, keep your head up high and keep the faith, things are going to work out uh, the way that you want them to, this could be um, when it comes to learning, on-the-job training, someone possibly could be training for a new position, training for a new job, um, indicated by the seven of, uh, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles that follows that higher font. So for the others, it could be the focus on work, building a stronger foundation when it comes to your finances. Uh, the pentacles represents... Uh, Excuse me, Taurus, I'm sorry. Pentacles represent um, stability, security, and longevity. But because you have the eight of pentacles here in the upright, which is good, and then also to the seven of pentacles follows. I'm feeling that for some of you, there's a major focus on work and building up uh, your financial. It could be your portfolios. Uh, or some other type of uh, financial investment. But you're working hard to achieve that with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles right, uh, linked right next to each other. Okay? So, that is the energy right off the bat for Taurus because of these Pentacles showing up here. And like I said before, it could be job training. It could be a new, you know, new job training, training on a current job, to do something else to earn more money. This is involving uh, investments, savings, putting money away for, I guess, a rainy day. So the King of Swords comes in after the Seven of Pentacles. And also, too, these are about options, too. So whatever those options mean for you. Now, when it comes to the Hierophant being a relationship card, it could be romantic relationships. So just keep that in mind. So um, I didn't want to go too far off of the uh, the belt here with that. King of Swords is in the reverse here, uh, Taurus. So this is about being indecisive. This is about uh, not taking action. This is about having to wait to uh, gain more clarity before you move forward. This is a card of action. I'm showing you the contrast in the upright position. Uh, in the upright, there's, you know, the clouds here. Isn't that funny? The clouds are at the base. And over top of them, it is clear. But when I read it in the reverse, that means those clouds are, you know, there's something clouding his judgment. Or something that's not clear or he's not, he or she is not certain about. 
before they take action, okay? And I do feel because it's in the reverse and the king, which could represent female energies, is looking uh, in the back. So it's something to do relative to either finances or something in the past, um, something involving the past. And it still may be related to money. King of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Next up, then, I guess the king flips in the upright because you have the victory and success card, the ace of swords. So it might be something going on in the first week uh, relative to finances and, you know, uh, could be, you know, job, job situations, education, anything. Anything that, they, you know, these messages may apply to you. This is what I'm coming up with. But you eventually um, get that determination and then you do get victory and success in some endeavor. Ace of Swords is in the upright. And this is all about uh, starting new things. This is the adventurous card. So someone wants to be adventurous. It's underneath the Hierophant that could be, um, you know, with a relationship. Ace of Swords in the upright position. Following that, you have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. So there you go. It's positive energy moving forward. Underneath the Eight of Pentacles, somebody could be um, leasing a car, buying a car. I said in the, because uh, it just showed up here in the last, I think it was Pisces reading, the Chariot. This is all forms of traveling which include buses, trains, automobiles, airplanes, ships. And I only pick up the warning, uh, the slight negative warning, is just to make sure that you're paying attention during this two-week period of time to any, um, you know, traffic, uh, you know, traffic lights, tra traffic signs, so that you don't end up getting a speeding ticket, I equate this with the uh, star card sometimes. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled. Movement. There's some type of movement going on here, and it's in a positive direction. So it could be a positive di direction in terms of your finances. It could be uh, with a job. It could be with a relationship. Um, we have the absence of cups here. So I don't feel that you know any types of uh, emotions will come into play. That sort of more or less would hamper you achieving the victory and success. Keeping the emotions out of it. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm picking up. When no cups show up at all, that means you're not even you're not even dealing on an emotional level. Now, that may not be the case for all of you in one hundred percent, but you know, normally that's what I pick up. If the um cups are absent, then we're not dealing with a lot of emotional stuff. That could be, you know, impacting or interfering with whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish or achieve. And so, but we have the swords and that's taking action. Okay. But someone needs to clear up something. Uh, and I feel it's related strictly, could be strictly related to finances. And it's something about, well, you know what? It's funny too, because it could be in relationship to, you know, this is the time of year where we file our taxes, right? So it could have something to do with that. I don't know. Throw the comments in. Let me know and see what's going on. Uh, you know, let me know what's going on, Taurus. I'd appreciate it just as long as those comments are kept clean. All right. So the nine of wands is just, you know, energy. It could be, you know, someone is uh, it's not always someone who is battled weary. And this person here has like a uh, looks like his face underneath his eye is sutured up and he's <laughs> like bat battled weary. But no, it could be just multiple uh, things going on that you need to take care of uh, and those wands would represent that energy multitasking nine of wands would give you the energy to do all of those things that would represent those wands okay so that's all I'm picking up here um, some of you may be dealing with the fire energies Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female and there could be some battle, you know, and friction if that is the case. But I'm not picking up that as much. All right. So trying to figure out here, you have uh, the higher font major arcana. You have the uh, chariot. You also have the 
a strength card, but the strength card is showing up here in reverse at the tail end. So what does that mean, Taurus? What's going on? Let me show you what the card looks like in the upright. And you know when the strength card shows up here, Major Arcana is all about being empowered, having the strength, the courage to forge and do anything. You know, the possibilities are unlimited. When this card shows up in the reverse, then that means there's some sort of hesitancy, some sort of fear. That may be, um, you know, taking over. Sometimes the strength card shows up in the reverse when I'm, okay, it is underneath the court card. So, it may have something to do with that. Now, I usually get the king and queens as older, so it could be something going on uh, with older relatives, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. It could be someone who's, you know, uh, you're in a relationship with and they're older than you, but they don't have to be uh, substantially older. But somebody is um, not extremely fearful, but there's this could too also be in relationship directly to a family uh, situation Taurus that I'm picking up see because of the strength card um, when it's in the upright it's all about you know that power and, and um, you know the protection and when it comes to the protection and the protection of loved ones um, be it children be it romantic partnerships be it friendships what have you and so someone could be uh, in fear the strength card in the reverse is always about fear or, you know, having to potentially deal with some type of loss. And it also means that um, the hold that you have when the strength card shows in the upright was too strong for this person. And it's like the grip is being loosened. And that's the fear that may be coming from you or it could be the fear coming from them because then it might be that you're trying to, you know, loosen up the grip or their, de you know, their dependency. Maybe that's what I want to say. Their dependency on you. So it's either a situation that's impacting them or it's a situation that's impacting you or both. All right, so that's what I have for you, uh, Taurus. I hope the hell that makes sense. Um, but I try to give it my best. So that's your reading from the Magical Times Oracle, Empowerment Oracle, the card that was selected for you, was uh, Flexibility. And this one says here, Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, but don't break. Okay, that's your reading, Taurus. Taurus, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. Um, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again, Taurus. Be well. Bye.